In this video, we're finishing the two-step equation worksheet on CUDA software. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access that free worksheet. And before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you're updated when I post new videos. For number 13, we have negative 15 is equal to negative 4m plus 5. We're going to start by subtracting 5 from both sides. Negative 15 minus 5 will be negative 20. And then we'll have negative 4m plus 0, since 5 minus 5 is 0. So this is negative 20 equals negative 4m, since negative 4m plus 0 is negative 4m. Next, we're going to divide by negative 4, and whatever we do to the right, we do to the left. Negative 20 divided by negative 4, negative divided by negative is a positive, so that's going to be a positive 5. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is positive 1, and 1 times m is m. So 5 is equal to m. Number 14, 10 minus 6v equals negative 104. We're going to start by subtracting 10 from both sides. This is going to leave us with a 0 minus 6v equal to a negative 114. Now notice that this 6v is subtracted from 0. That's the same as adding a negative. So 0 plus a negative 6v is going to be a negative 6v. And that's equal to the negative 114. Then we'll divide by negative 6 on both sides to get v equal to a positive 19 for number 14. Number 15, we have 8n plus 7 equals 31. Subtract 7 from both sides. We'll have 8n plus 0, which is a positive 8n, and that's going to be equal to 31 minus 7, which is 24. Divide both sides by 8, and we're left with n equal to a positive 3. Number 16, negative 9x minus 13 equals negative 103. Since we're subtracting this 13, we're going to have to add 13 to both sides in order to get negative 9x plus 0 or negative 9x minus 0. So we'll be left with a negative 9x on the left side and then adding 13 to the right side will be a negative 90. Divide both sides then by negative 9 to get that x by itself. Negative 90 divided by a negative 9 is going to be a positive 10. x equals 10. Number 17, n plus 5 divided by negative 16 equals a negative 1. We're going to start by multiplying both sides by negative 16 over 1. Negative 16 divided by negative 16 is 1, so we're going to be left with n plus 5 equal to negative 1 times negative 16, which is a positive 16. Subtract 5 from the n, and then we're going to have to subtract it on the right-hand side too from the 16. We'll be left with n equals 11. 18, negative 10 equals negative 10 plus 7m. Adding the 10 to both sides will not only make this 0, but it will also make negative 10 plus 10 0. So we're going to have 0 equal to a 7m. And we know that when you divide 0 by any number, it's going to be 0. So 0 is equal to m. In 19, we're going to start by dividing by a positive 10. When we divide by a positive 10, on the right-hand side, we're going to be left with k minus 9. And on the left-hand side, negative 10 divided by positive 10 is a negative 1. Then we're going to add 9 to both sides to get that 8 is equivalent to k. Number 20, we're starting by adding 1 to both sides.
m over 9 is equal to negative 2 plus 1, which is a negative 1. Then we're going to multiply by 9 over 1. That's going to leave us with m over 1, which is m, equal to negative 1 times 9, which is negative 9. 21, we have 9 plus 9n equals 9. Start by subtracting the 9. When you subtract the 9, we'll get 0 plus 9n is equal to 0. That leaves us with 9n equal to 0. And when we divide by 9, 0 divided by any number is 0. So n is equal to 0. Number 22, we're going to start off by dividing by that positive 7. That'll leave us with 9 plus k on the left, and 84 divided by 7 is 12. Then, like in a one-step equation, we're going to subtract by 9 to isolate that k and get that k is equal to a positive 3. Number 23, 8 plus b divided by negative 4 equals 5. Let's start by subtracting 8 from both sides to get b over negative 4 equal to negative 3. Then we're going to multiply by negative 4 or negative 4 over 1 on both sides to isolate the b to get b divided by 1 or b times 1 which is simply b. Negative 3 times negative 4 is going to be a positive 12 since a negative times a negative is a positive. b equals 12 for number 23. Lastly, number 24. And before we do the answer to this, don't forget to click that like button below. So now that you've liked this video, let's do number 24. Negative 243 equals negative 9 times the quantity 10 plus x. Divide the right side by negative 9 and the left side by negative 9. We're left with 10 plus x on the right. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. A negative 243 divided by negative 9 is a positive 27. I can go ahead and do the workout on the right hand side. We have a negative 243 and we're divided by a negative 9. We know our final answer is going to be positive. So 243 divided by 9. 9 goes into 24 two times and that'll be 18. When you subtract that you're going to get 6 and when you bring down that 3, 9 goes into 63 7 times, so 27. Now to finish it out, we'll subtract by 10 to get that 17 equals x. So a positive 17 is the answer for number 24. And that wraps it up for this video. Go ahead and comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to let me know that you like the video.